Threats that are presented to children on the internet continue to increase with the latest technologies, be it from sexting and cyberbullying to online extortion. The Vatican's Gregorian University wants to provide technical, educational and legal solutions to curb these issues that endanger the youngest. We need to realize that the internet is a very precious instrument uh, for communication, for uh, connecting people and whatsoever. But the internet has brought also many, many risks. And one major risk uh, is uh, that concerning the abuse uh, of uh, minors on the internet by the dissemination of uh, sexual images and videos and the use uh, and abuse of this instrument in social media also by uh, young people themselves. From experience, it is known that dangers continually evolve and change, and thus society must act in a coordinated way to prevent future problems. There is much uh, that is on the way and it has been developed. It is not so effective as it, as it should be, and the Internet providers know that, um, and that's not their fault uh, in, in the first place, because young people are, are very smart in dealing with this and going around uh, such, uh, for example, filters. Pope Francis supports this international meeting on child dignity in the digital world and will meet with the participants in the Vatican. Proposed to him uh, uh, that he participates or better that we uh, be received by him in an audience um, at the end of the Congress and uh, without any further ado he, he said he was uh, willing to do so. The meeting will be held in Rome from October 3rd to 6th and is actively supported by the Global Alliance We Protect, one of the most active organizations in the fight against Internet child abuse, as well as representatives of the British, German and Italian governments.